Yeah, I'm living this life with a different attitude. Don't flip, don't trip, keeping up the good mood. Cooking up some good food with my friends in the street. Yeah, people want to chill, they can come. Today, I will show you part of the process of an acrylic painting that I have been working on for a really long time. I started painting it a long time ago and I completely just stopped. But today is a new day and we are going to get through this together. And I just wanted to say a real side note real quick that this snow was very unpredictable. I live in Tennessee and apparently in the place that I live in Tennessee, it rarely snows ever. I was only here last year for the winter, maybe for a week when it happened and apparently there was no snow then. And it just kind of reminded me of Illinois a little bit that day. And I was like, yeah, I remember why I moved. It's because of this, but it sure was pretty. The walk was pretty. But let me tell you, it was cold as hell. Look at that, look at those sculptures in the park. There's art everywhere in this city. I just love Chattanooga. So these are my color palettes. We are going to be using some warm colors. I've been experimenting with warm colors because I'm more comfortable with cool colors. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get into this. I don't know why I'm shooting myself tying a bow, but it is what it is. <laughs> okay, real quick, I'm about to show you some footage that my husband and I took a really long time to make and I really hope you enjoy these clips. After that, I'll explain why it took so long to finish this painting. I just thought that was a fun little tidbit. Anyways, let's get back into the discussion. I have been grieving my mother-in-law for over a year now, more like, over a year and a half, almost two. She was someone that I was very close to. I actually considered her, this kind of is personal, but um, I really considered her more of a mother figure than my actual mom, to be honest, because she was always there for me, always there. No judgment, always caring. You could tell her anything. She'd keep your secrets. She was just a wonderful person and her death was kind of unexpected. So she had a lot of issues. She had a lot of chronic issues. She honestly was very, very depressed. It was right when COVID happened and she was just, she stated she was basically ready to die at that point. And she was only 50 years old. She had a lot of mental health issues and physical health issues. So we knew she was going to die eventually, but we just, we thought we had a good five more years left with her. And when we found out that she died, it was right when we moved to Tennessee, like literally the day after we moved. And it was just not a good time for me or my husband. Obviously, it's, it was harder on my husband, and it has been hard for him. So um, when I painted this originally, when I started, I was not in a good headspace to really start on it. I didn't really know how to start it because Tammy had specifics, okay? She does not like blue. I don't know why this woman hated blue, but she <laughs> hated blue. <laughs> it's a calming color. I don't know why. It's one of my favorite colors, but her favorite color is green. She loved plants and animals. She was a huge animal lover and she just really loved life. She didn't love her life, but she loved life in general. And I thought, Okay, I need to incorporate some green in here because green was her ultimate favorite color. She was an Irish girl. And I just wanted to make sure that her memory of what I remember of her was in my painting. And it really made me feel a sense of relief after I was done painting it. And I really enjoyed 
doing this piece when I finally decided to kick my booty in gear and actually finish it. When I did start on it, I was severely depressed and I just didn't want to go through those feelings. I didn't want to process those feelings because when you paint emotional paintings, you go through those feelings all over again. And I don't think I was in a good place to really finish it. The point of processing grief is to finally be at peace within yourself. Even though you are grieving, you are going to continuously miss someone for the rest of your life. And that is grief. But accepting that and moving on and making sure that you are okay and that your peace is not interrupted, that is what is important about processing grief. And I think if you paint a memory of that person that you loved and that you want to cherish forever, then do it. Just do it because after I made this, I obviously teared up a little bit and it just made me feel happy knowing that now I have a finished painting with her memory in it and she will always be with me no matter what. I heard another artist say, if not now, when? And that really stuck with me and I stick by it. Before I end this video, I just wanted to say real quick a quote that I found and I think it's really beautiful. That was her magic. She could still see the sunset even on those darkest days. You guys have a good day and I will see you next week.